Imagine yourself on a mission to deliver your first package as a courier. A relatively simple job if you know your way around the area, can read maps, and have a complete address with obvious landmarks and helpful neighbors. But things can quickly become stressful when your address only tells you to go to the third room from the stairs on the upper floor. Which stairs? My emergency stairs? The lobby stairs? Third room to the left of the stairs? To the right? What floor? Might as well burn the whole place down. If the same thing happens in surgery, the lead surgeon gives you unspecific or ambiguous commands and you end up taking the wrong kidney, not only would you waste a healthy organ, but all the people from all universes will make sure you spend the maximum jail time and impoverishing sanctions. This is why it is important to establish the point of view and terminology used when describing something in anatomy, since we are dealing with life and death. Let's have a look at it. Anatomical position. This is the globally adopted position used to describe structures in the body. When a body is in an anatomical position, it is standing upright with the head and gaze directed forwards. The upper limb should be located beside the body, with the palm facing forwards and the thumb pointing away from the body. The lower limbs must be close together and parallel while facing forward. After establishing the standard positions, we need to know the planes that are used to divide the body and the terms to describe the position of an object on the body. The median plane, also called the mid-sagittal plane, is a vertical plane that passes straight through the center of the body in a longitudinal direction. It divides the body into equal right and left halves. Structures that are near the plane are referred to as medial, whereas structures that are further away from the median plane are called lateral. On the other hand, lateral, the longitudinal or parasagittal plane, is any vertical plane parallel to the median plane, but not located in the middle. Thus, it does not divide the left and right parts of the body equally. Frontal or coronal planes. This plane runs vertically and forms a right angle with the median plane. It divides the body into two parts, front or anterior, and back or posterior. Sometimes, ventral and dorsal are also used instead of anterior and posterior. However, when describing the hand, other terms are used. Palmer, when talking about the palm instead of anterior, and dorsal to describe the back of the hand instead of posterior. Transverse planes. This plane runs horizontally and perpendicular to both the median and coronal planes. It divides the body into the upper and lower parts. Structures that are nearer to the upper end will be referred to as superior, while the structures that are positioned more towards the lower end are called inferior. We also can use cranial for structures near the top of the cranium or vertex, or caudal for structures near the leg. Those are the primary positions that occur with reference to the standard planes and anatomical positions. There are more terms for the relationship that depend on other parts of the body. In the surface of the body, we use the terms superficial or external for structures that are closer to the surface, deep or internal when it is further from the surface and perforator or intermediate for in-between. To describe positions by relative distances from the center of the body, we use proximal to refer to nearer structures, whereas distal to refer to structures farther away. Ipsilateral or unilateral means on the same side of the body, such as when a tumor affects one of your eyes. Contralateral means on the other side of the body, such as when a stroke occurs in the brain. Now, after learning all of those rules, the surgeon would be more prepared for their first surgery.